Right, Keith, two games now you've either started at centre back or had to move to centre back. Um, how, how difficult is it to actually do that during a game where you've got to play and do different positions? Is that, do you find that easy or is it quite tricky to adapt? Um, for me, it's not too bad. Obviously, it's moving into a position that I know really well. So, um, yeah, it's not too bad. And you know, wherever I play on the pitch, you know, I'm, I'm happy to do that. So, uh, it's unfortunate for, for Martin, but uh, but I don't mind doing it either way. Yeah. Was, was the Burton game in some ways the most satisfying result of the season? Because you, you were up against it a little bit in the second half. Brownlee had quite a lot to do. You defended well as a team. And really had to sort of grind the result out. Yeah, I think so. You know, the lads really, really worked hard, and uh, it's always good to, you know, come from a goal down to win. It always uh, it gives you that extra boost to take into the next game. Yeah. You joked before the season that you were quite glad to see the back of the number five shirt. You've gone to number two because after a couple of bad luck seasons with the five, you know, you think it's paying off so far. I think it's working. Um, yeah, I think I've uh, you know started the season quite well. Uh, try not to focus on it too much because it can mess your head a little bit. But uh, um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy enough and uh, just getting on with things. Did, did the uh, the six four affect players? Because um, obviously not what you wanted to happen, and maybe didn't react uh, in the right way to the penalty given against you. The manager thought you you know you didn't respond in the right way to that. But good reaction to it against Burton. Um, yeah, I think so. I think you know during the week we you know uh, righted a few wrongs and uh, just um, just got back together as a group really and just uh, you know reconnected with each other and, and, and got each other going and put it behind us. Yeah, you, you're now playing a team that have lost seven nil to a team you've beaten, but you, you've obviously got to be careful. Not to take your foot off the gas when you're playing against a team like Barn Emily. Yeah, it's early days. They are bottom of the league, but like I say, there's only a few games gone yet. Uh, there's a lot to uh, a lot to go yet, and uh, you know that won't be taken into consideration at all. Yeah. When, when you first signed back for Cheltenham, you said that you you've improved a lot since you were here on loan. Um, so you're a young lad then at Wolves. I mean, do you think from your early performances, fans are seeing a more all-round defender? And um, I hope so. I hope they uh, you know hope, hope they think I'm I'm doing all right and doing well and uh, and deserve to be in the team. I do feel like I've. Uh, you know, I've gained a lot more experience since I was here last, and uh, you know, I'm happy to put that into practice. Yeah, you've had two or three games at right back with Martin and Steve Elliott alongside you. What's it been like playing with Steve in the middle? Um, yeah, yeah, it's been good. You know, Steve is a, a good, experienced defender. He's been in the game a long time, and uh, you know, and, and I take as much as I can from him. I try and learn off him as well. So uh, I, I enjoy playing uh, alongside whether it be Martin, Stephen, Gallas, anybody. You know, I get on with uh, them all really well. Yeah, everyone says Martin's a, a good footballing defender, and Steve's sort of no-nonsense type and do you see yourself as a bit of both you know you're quite comfortable on the ball and, um, and can do the ugly stuff as well yeah yeah I like to think I'm comfortable on the ball obviously playing it right back and you know I need to be uh, you know a bit more composed on the ball but um, yeah I like to I like to think that uh, I can do a bit of both and uh, I hope that uh, that shows on the pitch yeah. and when you're playing a right back in the diamond does it um, it's a very important position at full back isn't it because you haven't really got anyone directly in front of you possibly helping you out if you if you've got players running at you, it's, it can be a bit yeah, of an yeah, isolated it position. It can be difficult on and off the ball, to be honest. You know, when I've, when I've got the ball, there's no natural wide player to, you know, to, to give the ball to. So I, you know, generally have to look in field or, or to a striker. And uh, and like you say, I can, you can get uh, doubled up on me where I'm, uh, you know, facing the, the winger and the and the full back at times. But uh, you know, I think I've, I've dealt with it all right. And uh, and so has Birdie when he's been playing out there. Yeah. And there's a f quite a few ex-Wolves lads here, and you know you knew a few lads from when you were here before. You, you really enjoying setting back into Cheltenham? I am. Yeah, it's like uh, you know, it's, it's like being at a, a club with all your mates. Uh, you know, it didn't take long for for anybody to settle in by the looks of it, and uh, you know everybody's uh, you know pushing in the right direction. And you've won games where you played really well, and you like you mentioned earlier, the Burton game was a real battling performance. And that that's the sort of games you need to. To dig in, don't you, and get results when people when, when you're not really playing on top of your game like you did maybe against Crew. Yeah, I think the you know the main the main thing uh, the game in Burton was to come back from from the the Rotherham game and uh, you know give a good message out to the to the home fans. You know the you know we we want a, a strong home record uh, this year and I think that'll stand us in good stead. It's early days, but it's nice to see the team up in the playoff positions and you know hopefully you can build on that and stay up there is, you know not, yeah, not it's, uh, slip down. it's good to be up there you know right from the start and uh, it will be uh, working our hardest to uh, for that to continue throughout the season thanks Keith